Every year in January, more consumers face hard times financially and people try many options to survive the month, including, of course, returning Christmas gifts in order to try and get some cash. And people tend to spend lots of money on unnecessary things during holidays. Then when January comes, the responsibilities of school fees, debit orders, hits, and they are broke. Well, cash converters has become the answer for people who want to return their Christmas gifts for cash. And to tell us more about this great initiative, Safer Initiative, we're very pleased to be joined in studio by Cash Converters Managing Director, Mr. Richard Makaiba. Sir, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks for the opportunity. Richard, I mean, uh, this sounds like a sure, better way instead of going to the Moshonisa of, of trying to trade your goods. Do you tell us more about it? <laughs> the thing about cash converters is really our business model is all about giving people access to to instant cash. So it's about uh, popping down to your local cash converter store, bringing the kit in and uh, um, uh, converting that unwanted item to cash literally within 10 or 15 minutes. Mm. Um, in order for people to get as much as possible for that item, the tips would be uh, bring it in working, bring it in clean, bring it in with your accessories and clearly one needs to be over 18 and bring your ID book as well. Mm. What type yeah. of goods are we talking about here? So it's really household goods. Anything you can pick up and bring to us from home, we'll buy. TVs, hi-fis, jewellery, sporting goods, cameras, binoculars, anything along that line. Uh, we buy and sell on a daily basis. Mm. Now tell us also, I know there's a, a loan or a, a payment plan yes. option as well. Give us some of the options that you actually offer your customers. Because there might be somebody who's saying, okay, I don't have petrol yeah. just up until the end of the month. Yeah. Richard, can you please keep my phone until next week yes. and then I'll, I'll get it back. So when we brought cash converters into the country in 1994, we implemented the model from Australia purely with the buying and selling. It became evident that the opportunity to provide people with a different service, uh, a product type would also be beneficial. So mm -hmm. in 2007, when the National Credit Act was implemented, we implemented a pawnbroking product, which we call a cash advance. So if you don't want to sell your item outright, you can bring it to us, uh, give it to us for effectively a 30 day period of time. We'll lend you money against it. Uh, when that uh, time is up, you come back, bring us the, the cash back, pay us the fees, and we give you your kit back. Mm. And that has been extremely successful. That product has grown over and over, years and years. Mm. Um, and then in about 2010, 2011, we added a further money lending uh, product to the basket of goods, really, which says to you, if you don't have something that you want to use to raise cash, but you are employed, we can lend you money on an unsecured basis. We call that a paid advance. So these are like your, your, your quick cash uh, option services exactly that you is. do have. Yes. Uh, yes. In there, what, what type of uh, uh, documents does one need to bring? Do they need to bring yes. their ID, their proof of address, and yes. you know, things like that? So, the business operates this part of the business operates under the National, uh, sorry, the uh, Second Hand Goods Act. Yes. And the Second Hand Goods Act dictates what uh, uh, documentation we need. Effectively, we need to prove that the individual selling to us who that individual is, and so we need an ID book. Because you don't know if they've stolen exactly. these goods, exactly. Richard. Exactly, and that's the, that's the point. And, and the crux of the business is doing it with honesty and integrity and not buying stolen goods. Mm. So we do everything in our power to ensure that that doesn't happen. An example of that would be all of our stores have closed circuit TV. That transaction then is, is put into our computer system. The item I'd buy from you has a unique stock number pin to yourself oh, and wow. we can track through the whole process from whom we've bought it and to who we sell it. All right, so it's proper business it trading proper there. Business. There's no, yes. you know, off cuts or, or shortcuts no. about it. Now, uh, judging by uh, the influx of some of the stocks you've, you've received so far, I mean, are consumers feeling the pinch of January this year? I think they are, uh, Alicia. It is uh, like any business goes in cycles. So if you if you come to the Christmas season, our retail business goes really well, and people are all buying Christmas presents and the yes. like and gifts for people. Sometimes I suspect those gifts are not really appreciated by the person <laughs> who gets it, and then they come in on January and they sell them to us. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's about it's about that convenient sort of uh, ability to raise cash mm -hmm. in the short term. And we definitely do see our buy shops, which is where we purchase product in the January February time. Uh, have much more activity than the retail environment in uh, uh, November and December. Mm, but why is it generally uh, pr very, very uh, uh, appealing around these times of the year, Richard? I think it goes to two things. One about convenience, so the process is very easy and simple. Yeah. And two about cash now. Uh, and three about security. So in a traditional environment, if you wanted to sell your laptop, uh, you'd put it in the uh, smalls or you'd put it on uh, some type of electronic media mm -hmm. and then you'd interface with the person selling it. Mm -hmm. However, you don't generally know whether that person selling it uh, is, uh, is on the level 
you don't necessarily need or want uh, strangers coming into your home yeah. and so doing that transaction in a cash converter store is safe and secure mm. and I might add that that's not specific to us in South Africa it's a trend we find uh, internationally across the 25 different companies that countries that cash converters operate in. Yeah now Richard uh, I mean uh, I'm, I'm a huge consumer activist now I just want to know in terms of compliance to the CPA because obviously these yes. people are bringing their private yep. goods to you what are some of the regulations uh, that you can talk to us about there? So in the context of the CPA probably the most important regulation yeah. from our perspective when we sell our product yeah. is we sell it with a six-month guarantee okay so you can come into the store you can purchase anything and know that if there is an issue we will look after you, we'll refund the item to, for you, we'll repair it for you or in fact uh, fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and and we, we fundamentally look after our customer. Mm -hmm. The business is 32 years old across the world and it hasn't got to that level of credibility mm -hmm. without that effect, that foundation. Yeah. We find that two out of three of our customers are repeat customers, they come back and they shop our stores on a regular basis. Yeah. It's like an Aladdin's cave, so the product changes every day. <laughs> Unlike a traditional retailer that has depth of product, yeah. uh, we have breadth. And you also so we, find bargains in there, something exactly. you would never have exactly. thought to come across yeah. at a, yeah. say, a yeah. game store. Absolutely, so it's, it's the flip side of the buy shop in terms of the retail where we're saving people money. You would be paying roughly around about half of what you'd expect to pay for it new yeah. in a cash converter store. Yeah. And many of our families in South Africa use us as kind of a medium term rental facility. Okay. So they buy, as an example, uh, a set of uh, cricket equipment for their 15 year old kid now in wow. summer. And then winter time comes, they sell that back to us oh, and then the buy his hockey stick. Over. Exactly. <laughs> so it's sort of like a six month rental. Okay. And, uh, and that works really well. Okay, so this means, uh, Richard, it's not just for those people that don't have cash, that are hard scrapped for cash. Anybody's welcome to come through and trade with you guys in terms Absolutely. of business. Absolutely. It's about value for money, really, at the end of the day. All right. And your final thoughts before we go? I know you have branches located everywhere. Where can people get more information, Richard? Best place to I go to is our website. Many calls. People are going to be coming <laughs> after the show. Yes. <laughs> they need petrol. Best place to, go is, place to go is our website, and that would be cashconverters.co.za. And they can find the relative branches Correct. there. Thank you so much uh, to Mr. Richard uh, McKayba, uh, the Managing Director of uh, Cash Converters, and is talking to us about some of the loan services uh, as well as uh, other services, financial services that they do have in their stores. Go out and check out their website if you are cash strapped, if you need petrol, <laughs> you didn't save. Go out there and make that useful and trustworthy tool.